In this short video, I hope to show how to cut um, your music tracks in a Shampoo Music Studio 4. And the reason why I've made this video is because I've never seen anything uh, where you can do it online. I've never seen any other YouTube video where it actually goes into detail of how exactly to do it. Now, when you look at a Shampoo Music Studio, and, and I'm using the 4 version, um, there is a newer one to this, but um, they all work in much the same way. Um, and it's a fantastic looking um, bit of software in general, it's a great bit of kit. But there is one problem with it that I've found, and that's how to cut tracts. And I use um, parts of tracts, small parts uh, for videos and that I do. Um, and I've found it really, really difficult to use on that type of thing. And I, f I think it's really quite badly designed as regards how to edit tracts. So it does have, as you see at the bottom there, it has extract, um, your CDs, burn CDs, organize your music. Uh, I'll touch on what I find in a minute. Record yourself from a microphone, edit music covers, mix tapes, a video to music, and a whole lot of other um essential stuff in this audio editor anyway modify so this is the one we're going to use how to modify tracks i know here you'll find edit files convert audio files normalize and edit uh, that's file tags by the way and edit your files and when you click on this which is what i want to show um at the bottom here you'll see um, insert, mix, silence, insert with crossfade, mix crossfades, and a few other things that will pop up when you highlight your tract. Up here you have open project and save projects like other music systems. And again, it is a, a fantastic looking bit of kit and it is spoiled by some silly little bits in the design. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut out a music tract and I'm all going to show you how to just grab a little bit of that uh, track uh, what you could need if you're people like me where you use them for all sorts of different things um, and that's an essential part of how to do the, um, an audio editor anyway insert is where we're going to go so we just go there down at the bottom insert your tract it's not open uh, open a project because you haven't got a project open at this point i'm doing this from uh, scratch anyway you go down here and you find the track that you want to um edit and this one is the scorpions when i um what i'm working on so um it's just loading up there as you might be able to see um anyway this particular tract is approximately oops was that's just come out there um well it's over six minutes long so it's quite a long track but this is um all i really want of the track so i don't particularly want for my purposes um and this demonstration as well i don't want most of the track so all i want really is between th uh say two and a half minutes and just over four minutes um, the track itself in, in its, uh, in its form as it is, is now 8.44 megabytes, I think it said. So what we want it down to is under two, if I can, and that would work quite well for my needs and this demonstration. So what we're going to do is we just go over there. We're going to highlight this to there. So I hope you can, I hope you can see that. So this highlighted area here. So what I want to do with that is I want to just, just if you go with your mouse and you'll see this uh, zoom in, a zoom out, undo last operation, uh, copy selection to clipboard, cut selection to clipboard and paste clipboard when your selection's done and of course delete the current section. Well, what I want is the copy selection to clipboard and what I want to do is I want it to go here right at the end so that's the only part of the that i really want for this purpose so what i do is i go there copy selection to clipboard so i hope you can see that there by zooming in so i hope that's copied i'll just do that again just to make sure 
sometimes when you do the video for this it doesn't actually do it so i want to click on here and i want to paste that there so there's me selection as you can see by the um the waves that's exact replica of where, where i need so the rest of the tract i don't want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right the way along as far as i can go there and you'll have here replace with silence so i'm going to replace that with silence come on it doesn't sometimes work as well because of the video being on there and i'll just do a little bit at a time until we get that sorted out and you can move along with this uh, scroller at the bottom so that's all done there so what we have is a uh, the track that i want um so so that will play that there and that's the part I want. So that's uh, basically it. Now, how to save this? Now, you would think on most um, editors or, or in software in general, really, you usually have something perhaps up at the top where you have file edit. Anyway, a uh, shampoo music studio doesn't have this. And so what we do is we go with this arrow here. So you just hover the arrow and it sort of jumps out at you. So we go arrow, and this is medium, good, CD, quality, high, quality. Well, for my purposes at the moment, all I want is a me medium and MP3. So um, we're going to call that testing 2, and the folder's on the desktop. And now it's just creating that file. And that's basically how you do that, and trust me, it actually works. So the process was finished successfully. Um, so I hope that's been of some benefit to you. And if you've had trial and error with this program, sometimes it hasn't worked. Well, that's how you uh, basically do uh, do this uh, little edits. And uh, it does actually benefit, uh, benefit you in how to uh, do your project. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to the videos that's coming soon.